Hello Copyholics, welcome back. Today is a requested video tutorial. I am going to show you how to make five classic iced coffee drinks using French press. For this, I am going to use my espresso rose coffee. This is 100% Arabica. And also, we are going to use milk syrup. For the milk syrup, it's very simple for those that still do not know how to make this. It is a combination of condensed milk and evaporated milk. Condensed milk, two parts evaporated milk one part. For those that do not want to use evaporated milk, you may also use fresh milk to replace evaporated milk. The only thing that I would say is that this is a commercial recipe and evaporated milk gives you that rich, creamy taste, very delicious. Whereas condensed milk on the other hand gives you the sweetness. This combination is perfect. If you still want to make other permutations, please check out my recipes for milk syrup. So very simple ingredients, your coffee, the milk syrup, and all the other flavors that we will be introducing each drink that we make. Because I'm going to make five cups of 16 ounces, I am going to brew one liter of coffee. For one liter, my proportion is to use 100 grams of ground coffee. For the grind of the coffee, I would recommend for the French press to use coarse grind or even extra coarse grind. Very similar to when you make your cold brew. Now I have here a one liter French press and I like this one because you can actually take the beaker out of the base of the French press. So what happens is when you break this one, you can still replace this beaker without having to replace the whole machine or the whole equipment. So I'm going to put this here. This is 100 grams of freshly ground coffee. And then I'm going to fill to the top with hot water. I'm not going to measure it anymore because this thing is one liter. And we are going to put the plunger, the plunger with the filter here, just on top without pushing the plunger just yet. You just want to steep this for four minutes. Longer than that, it will be bitter. So the best time to steep for French press is four minutes. So we're going to wait for that four minutes. Brewing using the French press is a very inexpensive way to start your coffee shop. So for small cafes, you can make iced coffee and also hot coffee using French press. Today is going to be iced coffee. In another video tutorial, I might show you how to make hot coffee. Four minutes up. At this point, we are going to push the plunger down. So push the plunger all the way down and the coffee should stop brewing. Now we are going to start by making our first drink, which is ice Americano. I'm going to make a variation to my regular ice Americano by using brown sugar ice Americano. This is a commercial recipe. You may skip the sugar syrup or you may add a little bit more depending on your taste preference four ounces of our brewed coffee, two ounces of plain water, one ounce of brown sugar syrup. It wouldn't necessarily be sweet because brown sugar syrup is not that sweet. It's just get that delicious smell and delicious flavor. Ice Americano, 16 ounces. For the next drink, we are going to make ice cafe latte. But before we do that, I'm going to prepare my milk foam for the cappuccino, macchiato, and mocha. For this, I'm going to use a manual milk frother. Fill the manual milk frother halfway. It is important that you keep this cup cold and the milk is also cold. You can also use an electric milk frother, but um, trying not to use electricity for this demonstration. So it's a lot easier for me to show you. So pump until it is harder to pump. So there you go. I am going to pop this in the ice box to stabilize the foam. 
Next, I scat the latte. I'm using the same measuring cup here. We are going to use four ounces, 120 milliliters or one half cup of brewed coffee. And very simple, all we need here is two ounces of the milk syrup. For ice cafe latte, one half cup of brewed coffee and two ounces of milk syrup. Ice cafe latte using French press. Next, it is iced cappuccino. For iced cappuccino, we need stronger coffee, so we're going to use five ounces or 150 milliliters of brewed coffee. One point five ounce of milk syrup. If you'd like it to be sweeter, you may add half an ounce of sugar syrup. I'll keep it here and maybe just add half an ounce of brown sugar syrup just to make it a bit more exciting. Instead of sugar syrup, I am going to use brown sugar syrup. But once again, this is optional. Okay, slightly less than half an ounce just to give it a little bit of a kick, more than the coffee itself. It is looking really, really dark. And then I am going to assemble my drink here. And I am going to add my milk foam, which is looking really, really rich and thick. So over there on top of the drink. Finishing it off with a sprinkle of cocoa powder. Next, it is caramel macchiato. For caramel macchiato, I need four ounces of my brewed coffee, 1.5 ounce or 45 milliliters of my milk syrup. And here I am going to use Monin caramel syrup. I need 15 ml or three pumps of my caramel syrup. It is smelling so good, caramel. Okay. And add a bit more ice. And top it up with milk foam. caramel sauce on top. And we have our caramel macchiato. For mocha, once again, I'm going to need four ounces of my brewed coffee. One tablespoon of chocolate powder. Start to combine, make sure that the chocolate powder is fully dissolved. Add two ounces of milk syrup. And you get this really deliciously smelling chocolate and coffee mocha. Now to assemble the drink. And 
once again top it up with creamy milk foam. Ice mocha using French press. We're all done. Caramel macchiato, mocha, cappuccino, latte, and Americano. It's time for the moment of truth. I am going to always have an overdose of coffee. This is quite a strong coffee. One is to 10, 100 grams of coffee to one liter of water. So using French press. Let's start with the Americano. It's perfect. The sweetness level is just right because I use brown sugar. It's got a little bit of that caramelly brown sugar taste. And since I use 100% Arabica, espresso rose a taste profile has a little bit of chocolate in it delicious now this is the iced latte i love the color of it this is using french press but you can see that the color is quite strong it's very very tempting it looks like a real latte as opposed to a synthetic latte well anyway hmm, the taste is good perfect balance. We did put a lot of coffee here, but because the coffee from French press is not as strong as an espresso, the additional milk syrup just gives it that perfect balance. Now, this is my cappuccino. Very creamy top. Mm. The aftertaste of coffee and the sweetness is just right. Although I did add some brown sugar in here, it just tastes exactly as I would like it to be. My mocha. I did put a little bit too much foam on top, so I have to be careful mixing them together. Mm. The balance between the chocolate and the coffee. Absolutely to die for. And finally, oops, I've run out of my straw. Let me borrow one from here. And this is my caramel macchiato. A classic favorite. Mm. I did use morning caramel syrup for this, so the taste of the caramel is a little bit strong, stronger than my coffee. But well, I forgot to reduce the proportion of my syrup. Using Monin, as I mentioned before in another video tutorial, you should put a little bit less. Mm. But it is the taste of the caramel macchiato that people are looking for. Using the French press, you can make spectacularly looking coffee drinks here. The taste is good. It just depends on the ratio of coffee to water that you use when you brew it. And don't forget to use only four minutes four minutes max. If you use five minutes, I would think that you might have to adjust a lot of your recipes to balance that bitterness of that coffee. These recipes are perfect. You can try them at home, in your coffee shop, or in your mobile cafe or home cafe, and let me know how they go for you. So that's all I have today. I hope that these help in giving you some ideas how to start your own business with minimum investment using a French press. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, stay safe as always. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.